Hi folks, it's Matthew here from Matthew's Tech Hub. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the video today, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering on how you can actually disable the Windows 11 lock screen and password. So what that means is when you actually switch on your computer, let's say you haven't got a password set for your account, you annoyingly still have to unlock the lock screen, click sign in just to get into Windows, which for some people can be quite annoying. So I'm going to show you how you actually disable this. Now, this was quite easier in, uh, well, a lot more easier to do in Windows 10. But it seems in Windows 11, there's a, one more thing you've got to do just to bring an option back. So previously in Windows 10, you would actually just go down to the bottom at the, well, this, the start menu or the search box. And what you would do is you would just type in netplwiz, netplwiz. So when you enter this, you open up this little window here, there used to be an option right up here, which would allow you to actually disable the, the uh, password and, for the login requirement. But it seems that they've actually removed this in Windows 11. But there's a quick trick you can enter into the command prompt to actually bring this back to, now, to allow you to do this. So what you're going to do, guys, is um, in the description box down below and the bottom of this video, I've put a short command which you'll need to enter and, well, copy and paste into a command prompt window. So the way to do that is if we're in Windows here, let's go down to the start menu again. Let's go type in CMD, which is command prompt, and you're going to run that as an administrator. And if it asks to make changes, you're just going to select yes, click on yes. And then what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to copy that uh, text which I put in the description, and you're just going to paste it into here, and then hit enter. And then what it should then say is this oper or, sorry, the operation completed successfully. So now that's been done, it's going to close out of this. I'm just going to go back into that netplwiz again, jump into there. And then as you can see now at the top, we've now got the option that says users must enter username and password to use this computer. So let's uncheck this, click apply. And then what you've got to do now is you just have to enter your current password that you've got set for your machine. So if you have one currently set, you'd enter that. If you haven't, just press enter. So I'm going to enter my current password here. Click OK. Press OK there. And then what we'll do is we'll just quickly restart the machine and I'll show you the results. Okay, so our PC is just rebooting back up now. And as you can see, it now brings us back to the Windows login screen. And there you are, it, it signs you straight in without asking for any passwords or any information. So I hope this video helped you guys there. If it did, please smash that like button and also hit the subscribe button as well, guys. We are on the way to 2,000 subscribers now, which is just crazy. Um, and again, please also leave any comments if, in the description box below if you're having any issues. But hope that's helped. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Until next time, see you then.